look what we got here. A black bear. So let's just take the opportunity. It's gonna be a long shot with this rifle, but it has all the power it needs. Okay. Ah, that was um That was a bit tricky here. So I have to wait until she's um moving away from from that cover. And I think I might want to get down from the stand since I will have yeah I will have much more steady aim if I find a spot where I can lay down to take the shot uh, this this gun this rifle still has quite some wobble and uh, it also is not so accurate. Okay. I think that could work out. Well, I really hope that was not a miss. was a little bit low, I guess. Uh, I really hope it was not a miss, because I really would like to keep this rifle to 100% accuracy as long as possible. But then on the other hand, it is almost impossible to completely keep it at 100%. So let's hope we hit him. I had the crosshairs on him when I shot, but we all know that this bullet, um, this 93 by 62, has a much uh, has much more drop drop down. And um, yeah, I just hope um, I didn't miss that shot because because of that. I just want to go there and check out if I if we find some blood. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed we did. Uh, we will. Here's the tracks. But I think I took the shot a little bit further than here. Must have been somewhere around here. Yeah, probably that was where he was standing. Or actually she. So it was female. Yes, we got it. Oh yes, it was even a good shot. <laughs> Whew. I knew I had the crosshairs on him. But since I'm not too experienced with that rifle, since it's very new still, I was not sure. And of course um with a with a long shot the bear didn't go far. Yes. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, we got a lung left lung and a score of fifteen point zero four zero. I 
I think that that was still way in 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 range. Um, I think you realize or you you recognize that, or you start to feel that um, bullet dropping at about 150 meters or something. And of course now I forgot to look at the shooting distance, but I think that was uh, still closer than 100 meters. Okay, so um, yeah, where do we go next? I think we could check out this area down here. I think I've never been there at all. And we have the tripod with us, so yeah. It's not a problem that there is not any tower. And yeah, <laughs> I'm just so happy that we didn't have a miss on that rifle now. Okay, um, I will cut back to you whenever something happens here. Okay guys, I got a call of a male feral hawk, which is great. So um, I'm gonna try and set up that tripod somewhere here. I hope the position is good. Um, I didn't take a look over that. Ah, that's perfect actually. So, oh that's really perfect. Let's bring out some scent then and let's hope it's a uh, Oh, I have it already equipped. Yeah, and let's hope it's a it's a whole it's a whole group of them. This is a sweet spot. <laughs> uh, so, but that was just lucky. I didn't know. Uh, as already said, I think it's it's even, yeah, maybe even the first time I'm hunting in this area down here. So, I don't know this place so well. Okay. Well, I'm still not sure if we... Ooh, oh! Wow, now really the action is kicking in. Um, what do we do about that? Of course we want to check him out. Yeah, so we will call him in. Well, here you can see, um, well, let's call him first. Um, yeah, here you can see the, the, the advantage you get. Um, oh, so he's answering straight away. Another one from, from, from behind us. Okay. Yeah. The big advantage you get when you have a bow with you. Okay, here's the first one already. Ah, oh, that's a small one. He's not worth shooting. So let's hope for the one that is coming from that direction. And also, yeah, we know that Elks like to roam in groups, also in uh, gender se separated groups. So let's hope this is a big male elk group. 
Maybe this one is part of the group the other one is in and he is just trotting towards them. Let's give it another boogle. And this one is answering, but he's also not a big one. Or is that also the one that just trotted there? Well, let's just wait and see. Also keep an eye on the, far the feral hawk situation here. So far, it's all quiet. But not with the elks. Okay, there is another one, but also a small one. Really not much worth shooting there. I think if, if it's only those two, I would even go for a feral hog if it's a, a nice tusker. But well, he's coming too close now. I think I'm just gonna take him. Okay. So, that should have spooked <laughs> the feral hawk as well. Um, but nevertheless, um, we do at least have an entrance into that competition. And uh, another successful taken shot with the 93 by 62 and here you really can see what kind of damage this uh, this rifle is doing. Right lung, liver, stomach, all the way through the vitals. Really nice. 180.472. Your new result is 180.472, which gives you position 81 in best bowl intermediate. Nice. So, um, I will give it a little bit waiting time here on the tripod, just to, uh, yeah, just to see if, uh, if maybe the, the hawk will call again. And um, if not, I'm, I'm just going to move on. So, cut back to you later. Hey guys, I got that a call from a male feral hawk. And uh, this time, I really don't want to let pass the opportunity. I think this could be even a very nice spot here if we can make use of this stone formation. I'm not sure though if it's possible to climb on it here. Maybe not. 
No, I think this one isn't. So... I also don't want to... to set up... Uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's much too close to set up the tripod, so I... I will just stay here and hope to get a, a clear shot at him. Let's call just one more time. So um, actually this part of Settler Creeks uh, reminds me a lot on Whiteheart Island. Um, and I think I really have never been here before. It's actually nice because it's um, there is thick forest but also lots of meadows down here. And I think that's quite quite a nice um, area to to hunt because if you have these meadows you have lots of possibilities to set yourself up and um, yeah for an ambush or something if the forest is too thick um, there's always going to be something um, in your way so yes, this area is actually very nice for hunting. For example, here at this meadow, you could really nice, uh, yeah, you could really put up a tree stand on on some of those trees and have a have a perfect spot. So the boar is taking his time. Come on. Show up. could actually check the wind direction. <laughs> yeah, checking the wind direction. Perfect. Okay, that's that's good. Looking good. I don't believe that he saw us. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's take him then. right through the skull. Um, that kind of shot on a boar I only would take with a powerful rifle like this. I could well imagine that this bullet traveled all the way to the Whitehall to the Whitehalls 
And look at his tusks. That's that's not bad. So let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a brain shot. Brilliant. So this uh, this rifle is strong enough to get through that thick skull, which is actually perfect. Still, I I don't um, yeah. I don't like to take headshots actually. Um, I would rather take a lung shot than than a headshot, but in this case the animal was very close and coming straight from from the front. So um, it was possible to to get a brain shot and the score is 841.195T. have a picture oops come on did this before many times. Okay, here we go. <laughs> nice, with the bullet hole. Alright then, I think uh, that was a nice successful hunting day in the evening hours. And um, yeah, uh, it was nothing special. We we shot a we shot an elk for our competition. Um, it was not a big one, so we are somewhere around around um, position 80. Um, but nevertheless, um, I had a lot of fun, and um, I hope you enjoyed it too. And thank you for watching. And as always, happy hunting to you.